going on guys welcome to my channel thanks for tuning in once again and we are playing diamond dynasty i just cannot get enough of mlb the show this year now check out who this guy's trotting out at seven there juan uribe what is going on now i know damn well you have enough stubs to buy a better third baseman than juan uribe is this 2009 or maybe i'm playing juan uribe himself and he really wants to see himself in the game not sure what's going on but let's get to it here let's get to the giveaway my last video was the super mega baseball giveaway i vouched to give three copies away to three loyal subscribers and people who commented on my last video so that's what we're doing i drew three names out of the hat right before i recorded this video so let's get to it first winner is cryptic panther Congratulations, Cryptic Panther. You won a copy of Super Mega Baseball. Secondly, we have a guy named Smitty. Smitty, you also won a copy of Super Mega Baseball. I'll get in touch with you right after this. And the third person that won a copy of Super Mega Baseball, Jesse Porter, a recent subscriber as well. Congratulations, Jesse Porter, Cryptic Panther, and Smitty for winning this week's giveaway. And I'm going to be bringing these videos out every Wednesday for you guys, so just stay tuned. Please subscribe and uh, check my giveaways. We'll see what we come up with next week. So let's get to this game here. Now, top of the second, he is actually not playing badly at all. He's got a pretty terrible lineup, and I'm not sure what was going through his mind here. Maybe he's trying players out that he doesn't want to quite use in an online season or something. Not sure what's going on, but he actually gets on the board first here, and he's up one nothing. but I end the inning on the right field fly out there, and he's up one nothing. but um, you guys have seen my lineup. Usually, I will score at least or two or three runs in a game so I'm not too worried and we're in the bottom of the third here it's pretty low scoring it started out pretty slow but it's gonna pick up I promise you guys we are not going to make it to the end of this uh, game actually uh, spoiler alert but you guys will see what's gonna happen here get a guy on base Mike Trout five tool guy you cannot go wrong I decide to bunt over but the guy throws it way over the first baseman and I actually pick up an extra base on both my guys here barely make it back to second here um, got a little too cocky there but anyways we got a guy on second and third and we're gonna get a run home with Robbie Cano and he even is safe so now we have runners on the corner and he gets a RBI single maybe I think it was a single and that brings up power bat Jeff Bagwell don't pitch inside on him because this is what he's gonna do he's gonna smack it to left field and three run home run we're up 4-1 just like that and that just shows you throwing errors will cost you they will be so costly especially in a tight game and you just cannot give them up like that and it's just all it takes is one pitch and that actually was a kind of a tough pitch to hit it was kind of um you know it was inside low and inside but jeff bagwell i don't know what he's got 98 power or something like that he is gonna run into one from time to time and we're gonna keep it going with troy to lovitsky two guys on he hits it to the furthest part of the ballpark here two other runs come home he has himself an easy triple and it's six to one just like that man it happens fast and that brings up Giancarlo Stanton who looking at the stats there I have not done anything with this guy and I'm actually considering selling him I know he's an awesome power bat but I just cannot hit with the guy so regardless he hits a weak rounder there to short and it brings Tulo home but still not what you're looking for Stanton's just not doing much for me now Trout is up next and it's seven to one and he's actually gonna take a pitch I like to show you that show you guys that at least once a game when I take a pitch because it doesn't happen very often on the very next pitch however he hits it almost in the same spot Tulo does triple easy triple for Mike Trout it's 7-1 bottom of the sixth inning and this game is not going well for this guy at all he should have warmed up a pitcher a long time ago I bring home Trout and it's 8-1 and you guys can guess what happens here next now I don't blame the guy I don't like to lay runs on people or anything like that I certainly would never steal in a situation like this he concedes and it's for the better 
put us both out of our misery. Regardless, it was a kind of a getting healthy game. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe, comment, and like below. And I'm out. Mahalo.